No doubt, El Hierro offers some of the most consistent slopes for paragliding in the world. Furthermore, the Gulf area is a valley that produces the most powerful thermals in the Canary Islands. So both types of flights are feasible almost all year round, generating high level flight conditions. There are about a dozen approved takeoff sites. There are also many other sites which are not approved but allow easy takeoffs. Depending on the wind direction, wind intensity and cloudiness, the pilot can choose one or the other. Among Canary pilots, it is common to use the word outflow, which describes the phenomenon known as the Venturi effect. This is actually an important and well-known effect in wind fluid dynamics. In other countries or areas, it is termed as flow compression, funnel or jet. In a nutshell, it is a particular amount of fluid is forced to pass through a narrow constriction, it will have to accelerate to prevent the total fluid volume from decreasing. When the meteorological wind meets the island of El Hierro, it is compressed between the rising terrain and the inversion layer with the consequent increase in speed. The wind will escape through its vertices at a higher speed than it was when it was approaching the island. We must be aware of this outflow points. They are easily visible in the sea, delimited by areas with wind blowing in different speeds and different directions. Bueno, de volar lo que más me gusta es que ha sido una sensación nueva, completamente nueva, es como aprender algo que no sabes eh, qué sensación te va a transmitir, pues fue lo mejor que me ha pasado en la vida. Llevo 12 años volando, empecé cuando tenía 25 años, eh, empecé a la Isla del Hierro y, y ha sido el, el principal causante de, de tantos bienes en mi vida. Eh, lo que le diría a la gente que no vuela es simplemente que, que por una vez en la vida dejen de pensar en, en que hay peligro y, y lo prueben. Que seguramente va a ser lo que, lo que les atrape igual que me atrapó a mí. Y será nuevo piloto seguramente. Paragliding over the vertices of the island is risky since the outflow may launch you towards the sea without any possibility of coming back down. Visible to the naked eye, the borderline between wind and calm, known as cut or shear, limits two distinct areas. 
One area where the wind moves at high speed offshore and another sheltered calm area. It is very important to learn how to identify them because flying too close to the cut wind can be dangerous. The sea is the best indicator, although clouds can also reflect the outflow area through bright spells, roll clouds, broken and scattered clouds. At ground level near the wind cut or wind shear, the breeze usually originates in the opposite direction of the outflow, very often in the completely opposite direction. Flying over this area is very dangerous activity if the pilot is not familiar with the phenomenon. But it is something that local pilots do very often. We should get advice from them so we can enjoy to take advantage of these special conditions. The aerobatic pilot can hardly find a better place for this paragliding flying type with takeoffs that are over 1,000 meters high for smooth descents and walls that are over 800 meters high for a whole day flight. Few places on the globe offer such good conditions to carry out so many manoeuvres in a day. Mm -hmm.